Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashton. Today we are going to be planning out a book log as well as a 2021 goals page. I'm just starting by tracing over some of my pencil sketches that I had already done. And then I'll end up adding a little bit more in pencil because I realized right away that I definitely wanted to make a more decorative header on this page with some banners and some flowers. And then to trace over my pencil and doodle some flowers, I'll be using my Tombow Calligraphy Pen. This is definitely my favorite pen to use for any kind of drawing or lettering in all of my planners and journals. I'm continuing to add more flower doodles until I feel pretty happy with the way that the header is just full of flowers and leaves. <laughs> These are my favorite things to draw, so I kind of have to reel myself in, but I really enjoy how it came out. And then I decided to just leave it in black and white with the exception of the actual flower petals. You'll see that I'll color those in with a light shade of purple. For the other page, I'm going with a little more simple title, just writing out Books Read 2021, and then I'll create a list by highlighting every other line with my Tombow marker. I love how this page turned out. I think it's simple enough that it doesn't feel overwhelming, but it's pretty to look at and I definitely will enjoy using it for the rest of this year. Now I decided to also create a page for my goals and also for my word of the year. It is the start of September, but there are four months left in the year, so I still want to keep these things in mind. I'm just creating like a sticky note shape where I can write out the definition of my word and what it means to me. And then I'm doodling some flowers in the bottom corner. The rest of the page, I'll just leave it blank for notes about my word. For my intentions for the year, I just created three little clouds where I can write each of my intentions. I would consider them to be like goals or resolutions, but they're not things that I can really check off, so I just want to have a space to write them down. For my more measurable goals that I can actually check off, I'm creating little tracker rectangles where I can actually like color in my progress on each one. So I just divided each rectangle into a different number of um, rectangles depending on how many blocks or sections I need for each goal. So I hope you enjoyed watching me set up these pages and maybe you gained some ideas for your own journal. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!